discussing the whole issue of genomics, and I'm for uh, genomics uh, currently. The biggest argument we get is that we are playing with nature. And that's a very scary thing for a judge. So to counter that, I said you, agriculture is playing with nature. The very fact that we are alive today with the hybrids, that was playing with nature. Mm -hmm. Do you have any more arguments I could use? <laughs> <laughs> well, you wouldn't be here without your genome, and your genome is evolving all the time. And people get most confused and most concerned when it comes to agriculture and the food that they eat. Um, when it comes to creating energy uh, or new chemicals, uh, changing the environment, people get pretty uh, positive about technology. When it comes to what we eat, people get very concerned. But as you pointed out, and I tried to point out, there is nothing natural about the foods that we eat. Uh, tomatoes that people uh, get very excited about in the U.S. only wanted to eat natural tomatoes. Natural tomatoes are small green things the size of my thumb, and they taste very bitter. It's only through thousands of years of random mixing of genomes that we have the food that we eat today. Uh, and people get excised when you try to do things based on knowledge versus just randomly mixing things. Uh, it seems entirely illogical to me. Uh, and the important thing is when you have a polarized society of being for or against something such as GMOs, you don't have any time for a rational discussion and making sure that there's proper tests and proper controls put in. If, if it's a question for genetic changes or not, it's pretty clear cut. But I would like to see more intelligent regulation, more intelligent processes versus fear uh, and just reaction. I don't know if that will help your problem or not.